Hello everyone. My name is uh, Dr. Bukhari and today we will learn how to read EKG. Before we move on, uh, one thing that we should always have a specific method in our mind uh, about anything uh, like chest X-ray, EKG, CT scan or anything. If we are planning on reading on something, we should have a specific method in our mind and we should uh, stick to the same method so we will not miss, miss anything. So the quick summary of how to read EKG start with rate, rhythm, um, how to determine that rhythm is normal. Uh, patient should have normal P waves followed by QRS complex should be narrow. What is the relationship between P waves and QRS complexes? Is the rhythm regular or irregular? If the rhythm is irregular, then we have to look for arrhythmia, which can be of sinus origin or arrhythmia of non-sinus origin. We also have to see if the rhythm is supraventricular or ventricular arrhythmia. The example of supraventricular arrhythmia, PACs, AV nodal reentrant tachycardia, A flutter, A fib, multifocal atrial tachycardia, arrhythmia of ventricular origin. Examples are PVCs, premature ventricular contraction, VTAC, VFib, Corsard. We have to see if there are any conduction abnormalities present or not. Patient can have first degree, second degree, or third degree AV block, right or left bundle branch block, ME block, or bifascicular block. Look for any pre excitation syndrome, WPW syndrome. Next thing we have to look for axis. Patient can have right axis or left axis deviation. And then we have to see any ST or T wave abnormalities. Let's take the example of this normal EKG and apply what we just learned. So the first thing we have to see is rate. So if we just take the example of this QRS complex, 300, 150, 100, 75 and I would say it's, uh, the rate would be around 60. So probably 60 beats per minute. Wait. The next thing is rhythm. So you have to see the rhythm is normal or not <coughs> so there are certain things we have to see if the p wave present or not yes p wave is present is p wave followed by qrs complexes yes p wave is followed by qrs complexes is the qrs complex narrow or wide so qrs complex is narrow because we know that qrs complex is less than two second or you can say less than three small boxes so qrs complex is narrow so we have normal v waves we have qrs complexes less than 0 0.12 second. Third, what is the relationship between P wave and QRS complexes? So one P wave, one QRS complex. So P wave, QRS, P wave, QRS complex. So you can see here, P wave, QRS complex, P wave, QRS complex. So the relationship is normal. So the rhythm is normal. Uh, 
third, what is the axis? So for axis, we have to look for lead one and AVF. This is lead one. If QR is complex in lead one and in AF, AVF, if they are both in positive direction, then the rhythm is, then the axis is normal. <coughs> Look for any conduction abnormalities. Uh, PR interval is normal. So there is no conduction abnormalities present. Any ST or T wave abnormalities? There are no ST or T wave abnormalities present. So you can see all the leads. You can go over all the leads, all the 12 leads. No TV abnormalities present, so this is normal EKG.